Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get some news for our table. We're going to be one quickly the review to Una concerning the things we're going to be saying if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. The first one, the one we'll be saying with the receive from one Mr. Turaki, when he be say it take command side to let each and every one of us know, say no matter what we try to put in place to make this country work, nothing when it be say it will be change the situation. And the title of this one thought say no amount of patches can fix Nigeria. This one of the message we'll be saying they receive right now from one Mr. Turaki. Why it be say this man? come out with this kind of thinking or mentality. I believe say, this one's supposed to be your question when it say you will ask when you hear something like this, right? Sit down. We get a lot to review and we'll see the answer to this very question with the next news when it say we'll carry on. When it say with the receive from the Ogak Patakpata, when it be the chief justice of this country, Nigeria, I want to be say in name Ibrahim Muhammad. And the title of this one, I want to be say, with the receive from this very matter, say, We need more of Sharia for the Nigerian constitution. This one of the message I want to be say, with the receive right now from the Chief Justice of Nigeria, I want to be say in name na Ibrahim Muhammad. I think this very one, a little bit, answer your first question. When it be said to Rakitito, say no amount of cotane when it be said it will fix the problem of this country, Nigeria. Now imagine the present situation when it be said with the pass through right now. This must see the common side, the issue, this kind of statement. Say we need more of Sharia for Nigeria constitution, right? Okay. May we do one or two readings from inside the first one I want to be said with the receive from Mr. Turaki before we conclude together for the comment session. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, the comic of the stance say, Professor Yusuf Turaki, when he be one of the covenants of the Nigerian Indigenous Nationality Alliance for self determination, it to say, Nigeria as a country seen a pieces of patchwork when he be said they don't deliberately design to fail for some. Points in this world, when you be seeing the thought, so your eye will feel seeing a koro koro for the struggle of our nation. And as we put our hand deep again, the contour say the sign of this world, when we see in the thought, so it don't fool everywhere as it proves. Say this patchwork, when we say with the court nation, so say it don't finally the tear apart, but instead of these people to accept the reality, those people. When it be said that they benefit from the failure of this very project, when it be said they call a nation, they continue to they do their patching and the hope, say, they will feel keep the rest of the past of this country together. May they not break away and stay on top of the matter. The comic also understands, say, Professor Turaki, he made this very statement for interview when it be said in Grant on Saturday with Son. Also, he said, may we take note. Say this nation say currently it is struggle, and the historical foundation, according to Ram, say the land by empire builders or waiting it will cause social reformers. And he can tell say why it be say we not ask ourselves this question: why this country Nigeria not feel remain for peace? Now they don't stretch on to the point when it be say it won't break into pieces. Despite many years of nationhood, it does say this one. Now, the question when it be say we're supposed to be ask ourselves right now, most especially those people when it be say they don't reach 70 years, may they also evolve their self for serious research concerning this country, Nigeria, and waiting in not discover for your own self concerning what they happen to us as a nation today, say a historical foundation when it be say they don't lay. By empire builders or what he will call social reformers, and he don't also trace them back to his own self to what he will call history. And to get better understanding to what those people want to be saying, call colonialists, 
due to this country, Nigeria, he undergo a very serious studies on how the British they set up this very social, political, social order of northern Nigeria and also Nigeria itself. And again, in one may we still take our eye look the something when we say in call long term consequences of what British do to this country, especially to the Muslims and also non-Muslim northern Nigeria. When it be say they get power, not be only for the north, but also for the entire country Nigeria. As we they speak further, he also thought, say, the chaos, when they say if they happen now, the conflicts, the lack of direction, and also all the problems, when they say if they happen for inside this country, when they say we all, they face right now, say, now something, when they say it get its own roots upon the foundation, when they say the British colonial master lay upon this country, Nigeria. But people, they're not surprised and they're not, they ask, question about what did they happen today. Why EBC we get all this problem of religious conflicts and also crisis for the northern Nigeria as well as other parts of this country, Nigeria? This one of the questions when EBC we all supposed to ask ourselves. Although a lot of people, they give answers to these issues when EBC we get, but their answers not they go deep down to the foundation when they be say they lay by the colonial master. Usually, the solution or the answers when they be say Nigerians they give, they not they address the foundation issue. How it be said they set up Nigerians against each other by the colonial system. And again, whether this faulty foundation, whether they will be correct. Term, as you don't already know, see, some people or group of persons, they benefit from all the problems when they say you and I, they face. And Ikonto say, yes, according to your own research, say, may we look at the solution. The solution, say, if it be say Nigerians, that they willing to go back and also address the foundation issues. This one, a threat to Nigerian states. Understand that very word. If we truly say, we say, may we go back to the roots, say, may we address the issue come from the roots, it will threaten Nigeria states. And for your own research, true your own life, when it say it don't do, it don't also prove, say, the solution on how it be say, will fit address the issue, say, it will affect Nigeria as a country. I believe, say, each and every one of us understand this very statement when it be say, this man made. Remember, say this man a professor, and not be saying now only professor. According to what this man the review, now the clear fact now in be that very one. They said, if you say you want to address issue, first of all, find out the root cause of that very issue. And from that point, now in you will feel minister any solution when it be say you get, when it be say it will give you results. But today, you want to tell me, say, the federal government of Nigeria don't know our root cause. They know. The truth of the matter be say, if truly, say, they open up, say, may we really go to that root cause. May we go address the issue from there so that each and every one of us will get peace. Definitely, it will shake this country, Nigeria, into pieces. Yes. And now that one that they fight against. Now, the reason why ABC, they know they want anybody to go to the constitution of this country, Nigeria. Because every of our problems start from that pieces of paper when we see the core constitution. If we say may we really address the issue of Nigeria, we'll first of all address the constitution. When we see if they bind each and every one of us together. And from there, now there you will see understand where the authority of the British, although they thought say they don't give us freedom. Now, there you will see, understand, say, even as we talk now, say, now the British, now they still they rule the people when they rule us, which is this Fulani Caliphate. This Aousa Fulanis. Now, the reason why ABC, they will do everything to support these people. If you go deep to the constitution, you will find out all this issue. If truly say we want to do away with the problem of this country, first of all, we have to do away with the constitution. 
and bring back another constitution when it be say yes, each and every one of us will understand where it starts from and where it ends. If we say may we really go deep, not let and surprise you see, a lot of things will come out outside of this constitution when we say they talk so. When even our president no fee explain. When even our Senate president no fee explain. Those people won't be saying they call themselves lawmakers. They're not going to feel explained. They're not get, get explanation to those things. How it functions, how it works, they're not going to feel explained. But they see and say it day in place. Only thing when they be said they will feel do now to obey and follow on the way when they be say it day. How to shift them, how to change them, how to amend them, they're not fit. But they see and say it day in place. And they know say now that thing now ain't be our problem. You understand? So tell me something like that when they say you call yourself, say now you get this house. And you know if you get key to access that very house. Tell me, what it can give you the ownership of that very house? The truth of the whole matter not pass be say, even as all of us today with the claim, say this country, Nigeria, and our own. This country not be our own. We just they stay here. Uh -huh. If we understand that very word, it would be very much better. We just they stay here. They just they allow us to stay here. Why? Because of say according to our own color and temperature. You understand? And they not just come say now their own because they know say no matter what they try to claim, which is this very British now say this country belongs to them. Color don't already separate them from this very soil. The weather, the environment don't already distinguish each and every one of us as an Africa. They know say by color. Na our own soil. But they get the buttons when they basically put in place. When even for their own ground, for British, they deregulate this country even up to today. After 60 years of independence. If you like or agree with us, if you don't like or not agree with us, it not change anything. But that one in be the truth. The day when it be say all of us come together to draw one rope. To agree on one thing. Now that day, our solution will begin. And the British, they understand this very issue. Now the reason why it be said, they set us against ourselves. Just as you hear this professor talk right now. From the foundation, they set us against ourselves. The Muslim against Christian. The Northerner against the Easterners. The Easterners against the Westerners. Now the problem, the conflict, when it be said, all of us, they face today, now it be this. Because the day when it will come with unity, united mind, definitely we will break the backbone of this British colonial master. Now that day, the slave trade will end. Up to now, we still stay under slave master. Whether you like him or agree, as we talked earlier. Whether you don't like or not agree. Now, so we'll talk about this concerning this matter, even as we move down to another news. And moving on again, we also get this very one when we say they receive when it consign the chief justice of this country, Nigeria, when we say in name now, Ibrahim Muhammad. He come outside now, they make us understand, say, for Nigerian constitution, say we need more Sharia law. <laughs> you see, huh? people only talk and say, wahala, not the finish. For this season, just for waiting to happen now, now, let us say, may we forget the one or five years ago or ten years ago. Last week and the last two weeks, for waiting just to happen for inside this country now. It's supposed somebody will be say he says they in own head. And not be only that one, he called himself the chief justice of Nigeria to come outside to make this kind of statement. He supposed. If at all, say now, person make this statement, he's supposed to be the chief justice of Nigeria. Hmm? You want to add more Sharia law to kill more Nigerians, to kill more Christians, Abi? to tame more Christians, right? The Sharia laws, when you say you don't get, when you don't already put in place, when it don't make this country bear now, even as they talk now, this country stands with one leg. He stand with one leg. You see the common side. They let the public know, say, you still need more Sharia law. Then which of the Sharia law, when it be say, never day in place for you, for your satisfaction, when it be say, you want put in place now, when you want introduce? Tanko Mohammed, will they ask you this question? 
Ibrahim Mohammed, I be anything when you say you call yourself. Eh? You'll be Chief Justice of Nigeria. No need to write them. Just go ahead. Adam Jenner, you'll be Chief Justice now, right? Moreover, you get the power, you get the position, and also get the backup of the federal government of Nigeria and also the Senate. She uh, Lawan they there. He say anything when he be a bring come, he will approve them. Whether law no, whether law, whether Sharia, he will approve them. Now so he don't already they approve them they come. Make kuna just join on our hands together to add on Jenna. And the one thing when he be say want assure on all these things when he be say on they do na collective efforts to make sure see on a hasten the collapse of this country Nigeria. And whether Una like him or not, this country will definitely collapse for Una head. Yes, the time will come. And now Una will use Una hand to draw that final rope when he will we'll finally break this country into pieces. We they wait for that very day. Now, so we'll talk about concerning this matter. All right, my great and wonderful people, we'll leave Una make Una share Una own opinion with us at the comment section. And before then, we want you this medium to really appreciate each and every one of you when you busy stay with us all to this moment. God Almighty will bless you. Your effort towards us on the channel will not take for granted at all. We really appreciate you. I beg me not forget to help us share this very one so that we still reach our brothers and sisters all over the world because we believe in what they say information and power. And as we do so, God Almighty will bless you. We would like to draw the conclusion of this program here. Yeah, we will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.